This is Sky News with Andrew Wilson. Very good evening to you. Jamaica's new Prime Minister has said she plans to drop the Queen as head of state and adopt a Republican form of government. It's a decision likely to be closely watched by other Commonwealth countries with the monarch as their figurehead. Portia Simpson Miller made the vow as she was sworn in yesterday, just weeks before Prince Harry visits the Caribbean country as part of his grandmother's Diamond Jubilee. Well, in a moment, we'll talk to Sky's constitutional expert, Alistair Bruce. But first, our royal correspondent, Paul Harrison, is here. Uh, quite a Diamond Jubilee present, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we're only a week in, aren't we, now to the Diamond Jubilee year. It's not a real celebratory mood, as one of the Commonwealth family has indicated quite strongly uh, that it intends that the Queen, uh, by the end of this year, will not be their head of state anymore. And I think it's not just the government feeling, it's also feeling within the opposition as well. Um, we'll play you a clip just in a second from Portia Simpson Miller. Um, now, this clip was uh, uh, recorded uh, just before Christmas. While she wasn't Prime Minister, she was in opposition then. And the quote she uses is she's quoting the, the then Prime Minister. But I think it shows you that it's whether you're in government or in opposition, quite clearly they don't want the Queen as head of state. Indeed. I have long believed that if I am to have a Queen, it must be a Jamaican queen. The government and opposition have agreed to work towards putting in place certain constitutional arrangements, including replacing the queen as head of state before Jamaica turns 50. You could, I suppose, uh, Andrew, say that this is pretty ill-timed, uh, although you have to say that uh, not so far as the fact that they know that Prince Harry is due to pay a visit there, and, and they've known for uh, around a month or more uh, as part of his Caribbean tour on behalf of the Queen. Uh, he visits uh, Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas. Uh, when he goes there, he'll be there on behalf of the Queen. So when he shakes uh, uh, Simpson Miller's hand, uh, Sim Simpson Miller's effectively shaking the Queen's hand. Um, will it go ahead? Well, there's no indication from uh, St James's Palace it won't, and they gave this statement earlier to Sky News. They say that uh, we're working closely with the Jamaican authorities ahead of Prince Harry representing the Queen in Jamaica later this spring. The matter of the Jamaican head of state is entirely a matter for the Jamaican government and people. Uh, looks of things that uh, if they do get their way, then certainly by the end of 2012, they may be one of the many Commonwealth countries without the Queen as head of state. Indeed. Paul, thanks very much indeed. Well, as promised, let's go live to Winchester now, speak to Sky's constitutional affairs commentator, Alistair Bruce. Alistair, uh, you know, it's complicated uh, to organise something like this for the Jamaicans and also there are, of course, wider issues for the wider Commonwealth to consider. Well, I think there are now 16 nations of which the Queen is head of state uh, as Queen within the Commonwealth, and the Commonwealth is 54 nations. And, of course, with Jamaica choosing this year, which is very significant for them because it's their 50th year when they've been independent, and they want now, with the new government, with the clarity given by the new Prime Minister for change, to uh, reassess how they operate. But in other parts of the Commonwealth, like Australia, they've had a long-running discussion with their people of, over what kind of nation they want to be, and they w looked quite recently at whether or not they wanted to become a republic. But with each of the nations that the Queen is at the moment head of state of, they have the opportunity at any time to review their constitutional arrangement. And there's no sense that the Queen is stopping this or that she's trying to hang on with the last breath in her body for every single nation over which she's currently Queen. On the contrary, she takes the view that it's entirely up to the people of each nation to choose what to do. And if Australia wants to change its mind one day, or New Zealand or Canada, that's up to them. But for the moment, and with Prince Harry going, the intent is to recognise that all these nations are very important to the Queen. Alistair, thanks very much indeed. Alistair Bruce there, live from Winchester. Women with potentially faulty breath.